What's up guys, Frazier here for Complex News. By his own assessment, Tay-K doesn't stand a great chance of walking free. About 65% is what he told Say Cheese TV last July when asked about the likelihood of that outcome. The 17-year-old rapper, government named Tamar Trayvon McIntyre, best known for the race, is locked up in Texas, awaiting trial for two charges of capital murder and one charge of aggravated robbery. But his name continues to ring out, with new music surfacing and rumors about his fate circulating. What's fact though, and what's fiction? Here's what you need to know about tay -K's legal issues. July 2016, home invasion and murder. tay -K, then 16, is among seven people charged in connection with the killing of 21-year-old Ethan Walker in Mansfield, Texas, about half an hour south of Arlington, where the rapper moved as a child. The July 26 murder, the Fort Worth Star-Telegram reports, is alleged to have happened during a home invasion and robbery. Walker was killed as the robbers fled the residence. March 2017, the race begins. Following March, Tay-K is in an ankle monitor and, according to Walker's parents, the Star-Telegram says, awaiting a certification hearing in the murder case. On March 27th, the rapper tweets, fuck this house arrest, fuck 12, they gonna have to catch me on a hood. The same day, he and another juvenile suspect in the case reportedly caught off their monitoring devices and head for San Antonio. April 2017, another murder. According to MySanAntonio.com, on April 23rd, Tay-K is alleged to have taken part in a fatal shooting outside of Chick-fil-A. The victim is identified as Mark Anthony Saldivar, 23. According to a police report, witnesses saw three people, Saldivar among them, fighting in the back of an SUV. Someone in the front pulled a gun on Saldivar, who exited the vehicle and fled before the driver tried to run him over. Someone in the car then shot him. Tay-K is identified as one of the car's passengers. May 2017, aggravated robbery. On May 25th, Tay-K allegedly attacks and robs 65-year-old Skip Pepe in Arlington. The Star-Telegram reports that Pepe was out for a walk when the teenager approached him from behind, held a gun to his head, and demanded his wallet. After Pepe refused to give up his belongings, Tay-K allegedly knocked him unconscious, leaving him with a brain bleed, three broken ribs, and scrapes. Pepe later identifies the rapper in a photo lineup. June 2017, Tay-K arrested. By this point, the U.S. Marshal's Office has released Tay-K's name and photograph, calling him a violent fugitive and soliciting the help of the public in finding him. On June 30th, he's arrested in Elizabeth, New Jersey. The arrest unfolds without incident, according to the Star-Telegram, and Tay-K is extradited to Texas. June 2017, I did the race. That day, the race is released. The song opens with Tay-K rapping, fuck a beat, I was trying to beat a case. But I ain't beat that case, bitch, I did the race. The music video shows him brandishing a gun and standing next to his own wanted poster. The song quickly goes viral and the free Tay-K hashtag spreads. August 2017, tried as an adult. On August 30th, Tay-K is in court again, this time to see whether he'll be tried as an adult on his capital murder and aggravated robbery charges, the latter connected to the 65-year-old he's alleged to have attacked. A judge rules that he will. The rapper's lawyer issues a statement. The judge was very clear to tell Mr. McIntyre on the record that his decision has no bearing whatsoever of his guilt slash innocence in the case. Mr. McIntyre remains upbeat after this hearing. October 2017, another murder charge. In October, MySanAntonio.com reports that Tay-K will face a second capital murder charge in connection with the Chick-fil-A incident. December 2017, record deal. It's announced that Tay-K has inked a contract with 88 Classic. He puts out an expanded version of his Santana World EP, first released in July, with the label. In March 2018, Tay-K drops Hard, a collaboration with Blockboy JB on No Jumper Records. February 2018, Accomplice Sentenced. One of the participants in the 2016 killing of Ethan Walker, an unidentified 17-year-old woman found to have conceived of the robbery that left him dead, is sentenced to 20 years in prison. As the Star-Telegram reports, court documents show that another accomplice in the murder, 21-year-old Megan Holt, will testify against the other defendants. The state will waive the capital murder charge against her in exchange for a guilty plea to aggravated robbery, which will give her 20 years in prison. March 2018, denied bond. As the Star-Telegram reports, Tay-K's lawyers argue that because his trial began in the juvenile system where no bond or bail system is in place, their client is entitled to a bond. Not so, says a judge who calls the race, a song glorifying Tay-K's flight from justice, very troubling. Despite appeals from Tay-K's family, the judge notes that the rapper had received a high, violent assessment and denies him bond. May 2018, death penalty? In the wake of the Santa Fe high school shooting, an image circulates showing that its 17-year-old alleged perpetrator wouldn't receive the death penalty, but Tay-K could, suggesting a double standard in the justice system. Celebrities, including T.I., share it. By way of his own Instagram story, Tay-K's manager, Ezra Averill, says that his client won't be put to death. He's right. In March 2005, the United States Supreme Court ruled the death penalty unconstitutional for people who committed their crimes while underage. May 2018, another murder accomplice sentenced. On May 24th, it's reported that Letharian Merritt is sentenced to life in prison for his role in the July 2016 home invasion and murder. The Star-Telegram writes Merritt, 24, said the shooting was accidental in an interview with police. My finger must have been on the trigger, but I don't remember pulling the trigger. 
TK's own trial still looms. June 2018, named as the Trigger Man. On June 20th, 2018, the Fort Worth Star-Telegram reports that authorities believe TK was actually the one who pulled the trigger and marked Anthony Saldivar's killing. The article also shares that all of the money TK has earned from his record deal so far, more than $236,000, is being held in a trust by his record company, and the rapper cannot have any direct access to it until he turns 21. Authorities claim that TK and his friends picked up Saldivar, who was a photographer, to go to a photo shoot. They say that TK and one other person attempted to rob Saldivar of his camera equipment, pistol whipped him, and threw him out of the car. When Saldivar jumped on the hood of the vehicle, that's when TK allegedly shot him. June 2018 sued for more than $1 million. On June 25th, San Antonio's KSAT shares that Saldivar's mother Lucia is suing TK for more than a million dollars for the wrongful death of her son. The suit claims that TK, quote, intentionally and knowingly and recklessly committed criminal homicide or murder by shooting and killing after Saldivar resisted being robbed. For more updates on TK's case as it develops, keep it locked right here to Complex News on YouTube. For Complex, I'm Frazier.